This is such a crazy cycle training plan. A defending cycle training plan will require more patience than any other cycle training plan you've seen so far. There are some awesome advantages to it however if you are patient enough. So little over a season ago I made a wingback cycle plan and ever since that I've been thinking about how one could go about playing out a full-blown defensive cycle training plan. At first I thought it might be too extreme and I put the plans away but once I had a closer look at it and the possibilities with such a plan it made much more sense to me. We'll go over core players, half baked players, pros and cons and how to structure the training plan. So now let's have a closer look at the plan itself. So um, we'll go over the players now, obviously the core players and the half baked players. We'll look at the pros and cons and we will look at the training details of the structured training plan in the, in this video. So the core players we're looking at is either a traditional defender or the PDIM. And obviously let's just close off the PDIM because he will be a powerful player and uh, the the main difference between these two players is uh, way is the way we we balance uh, defense and playmaking on the, the initial talent. So if the PDIM starts with solid defending and solid playmaking, we will see the central defender with excellent defending and passable playmaking rather. But again, it's all dependent on what you can find. So they are quite similar in the end product at 30 years old. The difference being the level of uh, defense and how much. Uh, set pieces skill they'll actually have. Um, as for the specialty for the regular central defender, obviously it would always be nice to have at least one powerful, so you'd have a man marker as well as the PDIM, and a header could be nice. If you choose to bring in a little more passing in the build, perhaps you could also consider even a technical or an unpredictable player. The quick ones Perhaps if you feel like you'd have to counter a lot of quick events, uh, considering the whole build, you could defend yourself against quick offensive players from the opposition if you have a lot of quick players in your offensive uh, team as well instead. There's a lot of different choices. Uh, everything's kind of viable in, uh, in the back chain for the central defender, but you perhaps have to adjust a little on the, the different skills uh, depending on what you end up choosing. Let's have a look at the uh, half big players because this is where this build is very interesting because obviously you have the chance to build some very interesting wing back as well as your own goalkeeper and this is probably the only cycle where you can build your keeper yourself or at least half big let's look at the wing backs the wing backs look a lot like uh like the traditional defender would look as a 17 year old talent but obviously we need them with a lot of wing we need them with mythical wing even so they'll be very expensive and probably be around 10 million euros when you uh, have to buy them at some point during uh, during the cycle the goalkeeper will also be quite expensive because you'll need to find a keeper that's finished in goalkeeping so a divine level of goalkeeping if we are talking very high levels here i i did set the defending in this example to um, inadequate defending but it could be a little different depending on what you really want passing is uh it's variable given the fact that you could choose an unpredictable keeper and in that that case you will need more passing and do some adjustments from what you see in this training plan and finally you would look for magical set pieces as well for your half-baked keeper if we look at specialties for the wing back, you can pretty much use anything. Um, you could use quick wing backs in order to defend against quick opposition players, but unpredictables may be able to provide assists and uh, technical wing backs could obviously help start a non-tactical counter-attack. A powerful would be uh, an option as a man marker, but you would probably have one of your central defenders capable of doing so already. But again, with the wing back slot, pretty much every option is viable here. For the goalkeeper, I would really only consider the unpredictable at this point because of the chance to uh, to get an assist from the unpredictable event. I wouldn't really consider any of the other abilities viable at this moment. No. All right, so that's the half big place. Let's look at the pros and cons of this uh, whole training plan together. If we look at the pros, you end up with a lot of high value end players. The wing back and especially the goalkeepers are the most expensive players in the end along with wings. But um, so either you get a high profit potential or you will have a lot of core and half baked players for the end build meaning you won't have to go and spend a lot when buying the re remaining players for the final competitive build the cons about this plan is the fact that you will train a lot of defense in bulk and that means that you will just be adding on 
the, the wages continuously as you cannot swap back and forth as much as uh, other cycles. And the high investment cost simply because the two wings for wing back if you choose that option and the goalkeeper will be very high in price and uh, they'll probably be tough to find at least a keeper you will also suffer from high tactical inflexibility for um, well over 100 weeks of defending training and just listening to that uh, 100 weeks of defending it, it is very long term if hatrick was ever a long-term game playing it this way is uh, certainly one that will be very hard to uh, to go by if you're not that patient really looking at the training and how each little training cycle is divided we will start out with two seasons approximately two seasons because you would always be able to wiggle and adjust up and down depending on what kind of trainees you find approximately two seasons of playmaking and this is where we add the central defender and the pdim to the build then we move on to two and a half seasons defense and after those we will add the wing backs and go for three seasons training of playmaking now we move on to half a season of passing and after that you will start out this excruciating long stint of defense five seasons and this is where you increase the stamina and where you add the goalkeeper do pay attention to the fact that if you find an unpredictable keeper or if you want such a player he will be hard to find you could think about adding him before you train passing in the end we train half a season of set pieces in order to finish the goalkeeper along with an eventual set pieces taken and just boosting the overall set pieces for the rest of the squad if we look at it in a seasonal overview you can see here that i've added notes of when uh, to add the different players when to swap training halfway through the season and and when to increase stamina uh, in order to keep up the desired level of excellent stamina as we go to play competitive in the end obviously above the age of 30 it's all about sustaining and training the flexibility what do you need depending on what kind of opponents do you run into and then those sort of things it's hard to give a final answer in that regard probably you would want to add more defending Moving on to the final thoughts here. So this build would require extra patience compared to the high level of patience normally required by any cycle training plan in Hattrick. It comes with high profit potential or the chance to bring in a lot of high value players for the competitive squad towards the end of the cycle so you'd have a very complete squad if you choose this option it does require a lot of capital compared to other cycles you are potentially looking at having to invest 35 million for the keeper and wing back half bait trainees during the cycle anyway this is my take on a rather extreme cycle training approach let me hear what you think and uh yeah i must say i'm kind of intrigued by this and it seemed so crazy when i first thought of it but looking at it now i'm thinking maybe this is the way to go with my third team in denmark for breaking if they soon once we have tried out uh, some more skill trading training in uh, with that team so that's all for now thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys soon and uh have a great Easter.